emptiness. Can you hear the emptiness? Can you hear emptiness? Can we see the emptiness? Can we see damage control without Bailey? The truth is, we can see it, but can we believe it? Damage control was created by Bailey. Every interview on the internet was saying Bailey was the creation. Bailey is the mastermind behind damage control. Bailey is the reason damage control at the beginning was nothing and now it's something. But the truth is, now it's nothing. We see every week damage control walking around without Bailey. Do you know what I see? Three titles. That's what I see. No people behind them, no characters behind them. And I feel like damage control has a serious problem. And this is a problem related to all the Japanese wrestlers that are in the WWE, outside of WWE. And the problem is, sorry to break it all to you, but I cannot feel anything while these people are talking in Japanese. And I'm just reading subtitles. Please, make these wrestlers learn English and cut the promo in English. Because this is how they're gonna struck the mass audience. I'm sick and tired of Shinsuke Nakamura cutting a promo in a backstage in Japanese. I really like the art, I really like the flashy images and all of that stuff, but it doesn't hit the same way. The same goes for Eosky, the same goes for Kabuki Warriors, and I guess they have paired Kabuki Warriors, Eosky and Dakota Kai because they want Dakota Kai to actually speak for damage control, but Dakota Kai is a mid-carder. What she can say, De Bailey was the person in damage control who was saying stuff, who was actually rubbing the people the wrong way. And right now, when damage control is actually against Bailey, probably that's why Bailey is not main eventing WrestleMania. A lot of people online are saying that the rules of the Royal Rumble are saying that the winner of the match is main eventing WrestleMania. Can you imagine how not relevant is damage control if actually Bailey is not the main eventing WrestleMania? I hate to say that. I hate to say that, but it's true. Please tell me how you feel when you're seeing damage control every week without Bailey. Uh, I love you, Sky. Uh, I don't know how many of you have seen her as an NXT champ. I loved her, but at the end of her reign, it felt empty as well. It felt the same way because he she was not cutting a promo, even though. I believe Io Sky is the member of the damage control who knows English the most and she can cut promos more than anyone else in that group. But she does not actually cut promos. And this is a real shame. Nonetheless, I'm really excited to see Io Sky versus Bailey. But the problem is that Kabuki Warriors are still champs. And it's gonna be it's gonna be really really strange for Kabuki Warriors to still be the champs while Bailey is beating Eosky for the championship. I'm really curious to see who is gonna dethrone the Kabuki Warriors and if this team is actually gonna help Bailey. I low key expected Bailey to help Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark whenever they were having a match against Kabuki Warriors, but I guess this is Bailey's fault. This is a miss in the storyline. And can you imagine how strong B Bailey would be with Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark? This is unstoppable force. And this is a potential for future feud with Shayna Baszler, with Zoe Stark. And yeah, a missed opportunity there in my opinion. But we're gonna see what the future holds. We're gonna see what the future will show us. We're gonna see what Papa H is gonna do. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.